Okay guys, the next plugin that we're going to install is called Terms of Use, and we're going to use this plugin for the privacy policy. So let's go straight to the plugin. You're going to find it uh, in the search, so go to Plugins in the left-hand sidebar, and click on Add New. And then we're going to search for Terms of Use. and click on search plugins and if you scroll down you're gonna find the uh, four and a half star terms of use created by strategy 11 so go ahead and click on install now and click on OK and click on activate plugin Okay, now this plugin is extremely easy to set up, so I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. And if you go to the left hand sidebar, go to settings and scroll down to edit terms of use, click on that. And make sure your website's name is correct. And all we're going to do is in the right hand sidebar, if you scroll down to where it says bracket privacy policy bracket, we want to highlight that, right click, copy, and we're going to create a page called Privacy Policy. So go over to Pages in your left-hand sidebar and click on Add New. And we're going to call this page Privacy Policy. And for the body, go ahead and paste the code that we copied. And we're going to go ahead and click on Publish. Okay, now something I did not show you guys before, if you want to change the order of the pages as they're displayed on your homepage, you can change the order with uh, this little uh, box here. So if I want this to be in the fourth spot, if I want this to be the fourth tab over on the homepage, I'm going to click 4, and then we'll just go ahead and click Update. So now let's go back to our website and open it up in a new tab. And if you look at the fourth tab over, you'll find the privacy policy. So, home, my story about me, privacy policy. And uh, go ahead and click on the privacy policy. We'll look at that page. And it's a nice privacy policy that will basically do two things for us. It's going to gain trust in our visitors, and it's also going to give us a better rank uh, in Google. So, if you want to look it over, uh, go right ahead. Otherwise, that's all there is for this plugin. So uh, I hope that helped, and I will see you guys in the next lesson for the next plugin.